drop KT to kick it off. Hold on, bro. The music playing. Fuck that music. Fuck this up. Double cut. No matter what. Double up. Is that good enough? I meant the show, bro. <laughs> I know. I'm talking about the show. I know. <laughs> but good, good ad lib. Wait for it. <laughs> What's good, man? Real Rap Coalition. We back with another one, man. I'm drunk as fuck, belligerent, and ready to call everybody a bitch. Y'all see what the title is, man. We about to expose some perverts and talk crazy about the people who allowed their kids to be in these situations. Who the fuck else is in the building? Showtime Slim, man. Let's get it. Black ass motherfucking roots. All right, boys. Who wants to kick off a synopsis of this episode? We're starting off with Jason off rip because that's what they did. Fuck all that other shit. Jason is a wild ass boy. Yeah, uh, last I mean, episode they kind of um hinted to us that um it was gonna be some pedophiles that we were like gonna dan talk about. you know what i'm saying dan did some fuckery but like you know dan is the top of the corporate pyramid and like he just had a bunch of diddlers underneath him and shit <laughs> you know what i'm saying he had a, like, horde, he had a horde of diddlers boy them his, folks his, i'm uh, talking about he had a he had a stable of sex pests dog <laughs> this man dan like you know what i'm saying he was just uh showing bitches porn in the office and shit this Jason guy is a real life demon from that frailty movie. Like, uh, uh, all right. <clears throat> if he hey. a demon, what the fuck is Pickle Boy? Hey, I bro. ain't gonna lie, Jason worse than Pickle Roots. Boy. Bullshit. He is. Listen, listen, bro. Pedophiles of a feather flock together, nigga. They all in the same <laughs> boat. They all in the same boat, bro. They all yeah, they in the same, the same boat. Same place some too. Motherfuckers like. rowing and there's some uh, motherfuckers. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, Along for the ride. Big. Yeah, it don't no, really it's, matter. It, like he, like, like if Jason has a fucking paddleboard, then this nigga pickleboard boy has like a two fan motor in the back. Yeah, but they going, they both going to the I same destination, uh, 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 bro. All right, so let, let, you know, for those that didn't watch the episode, you know what I'm saying. On on all that, there was uh, you know, this this episode they discussed the fact that the production assistants and the fucking uh, what what is that called, dialogue coaches or whatever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? These motherfuckers were out. Wait, no, here, you're uh, talking about Jason. Jason was just a Jason fucking a, uh, production Jason was a PA, assistant. The production assistant. Yeah, he the like fucking the, lowest of the low on a fucking nah, set. I don't think actually, that's the lowest that's of the not, low. Shit. That's actually not accurate. Yeah, so the production assistant accurate. is is the motherfucker who has the headset on that's like pointing direction for everybody yeah. to go everywhere. Like, oh, you need to be over in makeup. You need to be on set. You need to be getting ready. For he tells you, yeah, you need next. to be over. Like, he's the person who, he's like right under the director. <clears throat> yeah, so he's not just the bottom of the totem pole. You know what I'm saying? But like, he was, like I say, that shit starts off and he just looks like a regular, you know, like slightly corny white guy. You slightly know? corny. But, that nigga look, well, I mean, I mean, he just looked like a Mormon, bro. He was, he was fucking, what the fuck bro? Is, hey, like, this this nigga is the lowest of the low on the set, bro. PAs don't do shit, but do the so, shit that so, don't nobody so else want to do. Brian Peck was above him, Slim. Yeah, he was a he was a, a um coach. The coach that y'all was talking about. That's Ooh. what he was. The the PAs them them the niggas that like get coffee and, and do all the bullshit like the niggas don't want to do. But all they right, also so have I, I, all. Information of uh, that motherfuckers need to function. But that's man, fuck out of here. That's the entry level shit, man. Bro, I'm gonna address this right. I'm gonna now. be a like, PA, man, but I ain't gonna be like him. This whole like this whole starts out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This whole starts out with like an account from a mother of like one of the children, you know, involved in in this shit, right? And Sheesh. I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, man. Like, she's a fucking idiot. Piece of you shit. Know? Like she's a fucking like a dumbass dog. Like, what, what year is this? This is she like never mid-90s. got to live her dream mm-hmm. because her mama wouldn't let her be an actress. So she like wanted to live vicariously through her daughter and her passion for acting and shit. So much so that she like neglected a whole bunch of situations and then didn't do anything about it when she found out about it. First things first, 
I'm a fucking, if I'm a parent, why, like, why am I letting my, you know, preteen daughter talk to email so, with this grown ass man? So like, let's, let's add a little bit of context to that. This is the mid nineties. Emailing is, is still kind of new. However, I'm pretty sure Jason wasn't the first person to send a dick pic. Well, I'm pretty sure he wasn't the first person to send a dick pic over the over I the just email. think it's more so like, like, Jeez. why do I, like, you know, because I'll get to it later. But there's other things. Like, these scenarios don't make sense of why people are allowing their kids to be in unsupervised situations with random, strange, grown men. You know Bro, I, mean? I don't like my kids being out of sight in the fucking grocery store. I mean, I, it, it, was it, it does, a, it does make sense to me, KJ. Slim, there's literally a part where somebody says that they let, like, they nine-year-old daughter be in there playing video games with this dude. Why, yep, mm -hmm. like, you know what I'm saying? Weird. Why do you have this grown man at your house in your daughter room not Fucking looking, weird. you know what I'm saying, playing video games? Like, what do you like, mean you came over to play video games with my kid? Get the fuck I'm out saying, of here. Bro, I'm saying, bro, like, you're, you're not, it's not like you're a family but, friend, but you, bro. You are a person that I know through the fucking industry that, like, my child is partaking in. But you know what I think it is, KTL Roots? I think it's that. So they have this, this, this little set. And they got the cast, they got the crew and everything. And these motherfuckers are just on set with each other. And so it's it's like, especially when you're a child, I can imagine that they probably kind of form these like bonds and relationships on set. So I can White get how they too nice. Don't even say I can get how they know because you're not letting letting know. Too, you don't even you don't even have a kid, but I'm pretty sure if you had a kid. Somebody that you've known for only let's say two years, Max. You're not letting them sit in the fucking room with your child, your nine year old daughter alone, and he's a grown man. Fuck but that's what I'm saying. Like, so with the with the the kids on the set, the crew on the set, and the parents on the set. What I what I think is that these motherfuckers form these relationships and friendships, and they just got comfortable like around no. each other so no. i don't because look even like all the kids were saying the same that we haven't talked about pickle boy but they was pretty much saying the same shit about pickle boy like the relationship and friendship that they formed with that grown ass nigga here's what so, i'm saying i just think it was a it was a thing where nobody was really blinking an eye you because they were, i don't that, think you don't have to take that cape off slim i don't think you should like no nah, I, I i can see things from both sides roots like bro, I, I don't think like, that why. you should do it but i can kind of understand where like you know if a motherfucker is in the kitchen, you know, like making a meal and your kid is in there like at the table, you know what I'm saying? I can understand you go to another room, you know, and do some shit there. Even but it's the proposed activity. Oh, like bro. you're a grown, you're a 30 some odd, probably at least mid to 20s to he's, early he's 30s, mid, like uh, your yeah. old man who said you came over to play fucking Crash Bandicoot. With my <laughs> child, bro. So I'm thinking like, he's like late, like, like you're, early, you're grown early as bro. I'm a grown man that plays Even the still, game. Bro, he's Slim. a grown fucking man. L listen to me, Slim. I'm a grown man that plays the game. I play the game a lot, bro. Like I've I've had you know I played the game since I was a kid. There is no point in my grown life where I actively want to seek out children to do my hobby with, like bro. I play Call of Duty. I don't even like being on the same kit on the same fucking team as a kid just because it's fucking annoying like i don't Are you, you know going saying, over to like, somebody else's house to play video games you with can a kid? share an interest I, i've even you know what i'm saying like younger people that i've worked with in my job you know we've talked about like video games or anime or whatever we'll discuss like shared interests but i'm not going to a motherfucker house to you know partake in some shit like this you know what i mean yeah like, I, it's, um... it's a conversation so I mean I I think we're probably on the same page when it comes to like uh our thoughts about these situations but for me personally I can definitely see like how these situations might have come about because even like with what y'all just said like let's just say like a a dude in his early because I I'm I'm under the impression that the kids were young Jason wasn't extremely older so he, he was, it was almost like it don't matter. If that's, he's not, that's not. That's not. That's not the point I'm adult. getting at, Roots. That's not the point I'm getting at. The point I'm getting at is that I can see how these situations may come about because there, there are all these things like that I've seen maybe throughout history. Maybe y'all haven't. I don't know. But when it comes to like these friendships or relationships, 
and they have some people that might have older uh, people that they look like as like big brother or big sister or just some kind of relationship like that. So let's say hypothetically speaking, it is like a, a 14 year old, 15 year old kid and a, a 20 year old Jason or 21, however, I don't know. But it's not against um my imagination to believe that one of those kids could have looked up to him like a big brother or some shit like that. But so it's, I, not I, about, I, it's not about it's not the, about how the kid sees them, bro. Yeah, it's, it's about, about the fucking the, you're a grown adult. Like I you're, think the you're parents a, are you're the a same parent. Way. The parents are fucking idiots. Man. Yeah, I'm about to say there's no instance where like this is a, a, a you know a correct behavior and shit. But you're, this, but is you're, the fault, but you're, this is the you're fault debating of Jason and the fucking parents. You're debating correctness, and I'm not. I'm just saying I can see how this situation. I can came see how about. it could happen because <sighs> it, it happened. Like I know how it happened. I'm saying I can, I can see how a fucking, cra- uh, a fucking car accident happens, but it's still the 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 the. the Cause of it is somebody fucked up. Yeah, it's all situation. Somebody fucked up. Like, but no, but but up. but but we all know that. Like, nobody's debating that. I'm just saying, like, um, the way y'all the way y'all are speaking on it is like y'all don't understand how it could happen. I'm saying because that the fuck I up is something that should happen. not happen. Well, because ever. They, because me Come personally, on, bro, it's a lot like, of I would that never happen, that happen. I would never let that specific thing happen. You know what I'm saying? Me like, either. But never. but but there are people. You know, there are people in the world that aren't like that us. are fucking stupid. But so, like, beyond this, right? Like, you know what I'm saying? We're we're right at the surface of some shit. We're we're going to, you know, this motherfucker emailed a a picture of him jerking off to a fucking like what I kind of assume couldn't be more than a 14 year old girl. She was 13. You know what I'm saying? And like, y'all remember back like on AOL uh, instant messenger and shit when you sent pictures and internet was a shitty connection. It's going line by line. You know what I'm saying? Like, from the top and shit. Like, one fucking pixel row at a time. Yeah. So that bitch is developing in slow motion and shit to the, the fucking horror of these people, man. Who knows how often this guy had done this shit? Like, that motherfucker... Definitely is, wasn't the first time. They said he What's had 10,000 yeah. images, dog. You and know and he, much, had, he talked to multiple children. So right you know now, I have like 500 pictures in my phone that exist, right? And I've had this phone for a long fucking time, bro. Do you know how much 10,000 is? Like, this motherfucker had Ziploc bags with names of different children written on them. And he fucking had a seven trinkets. Year, he had a seven-year-old girl underwear in a Ziploc bag, cuz... That like, he probably went and unzipped every once in a while. What one hundred percent? Fucking it's, sniffed while he's yeah. Whacked you're not off. just hanging that bitch on the wall. This is you, you're utilizing this. You feel These me? Are tool shit, and you're fucking that repertoire. motherfucker is like, and in it's it's so like unrepentant and unremorseful that this motherfucker is going out uh, like he's having conversations. I don't even remember who he was talking to, but they have him quoted calling himself he was right, a he was right in his pedophile. And talking about he, how he struggles to, to you know, sometimes look for victims to you rape, rape somebody. And it, what, was, it was his journal, KTF. Bro, like, there, there should be, in in certain situations as rare as this, there should be a such thing as instant death there's penalty. There's probably not I, that. Like, I, this probably can, isn't that can, rare. Congrats, congrats to the fucking detectives that were on this and were fucking parents and didn't fucking snap and shoot this nigga in the face on sight. Like th- this motherfucker, like the girl said, yeah, we would be over there having Bible study and prayer circle. And he comes up, you know, he's writing in the yearbook talking about believe in Christ and let him guide you to some shit. Boy, you think Jesus wanted you to fuck them kids? Like, what what are you doing, dog? Well, I, mother- I, I, I honestly could not fucking imagine. Like, I get pissed off seeing certain videos on the Internet that that's involving kids, like maybe getting kidnapped or some shit like that. I seen a I seen a fucking video of an older white lady walking down the street. She pulls out a knife and tries to stab a fucking toddler in the neck, bro. And I got enraged. Like I can't imagine like stumbling across this fucking scene of shit where this motherfucker has compiled document on document of his pedophilia. And, and like, like you know, a lot of proclaimed like, pedophilia. A lot of the things that we've named thus far just like our, you know imagery and like things that it's it's not actually dealing 
with, you know, like having sex with a kid. But there was like a couple of charges that definitely like were something related to like oral copulation with a minor. Sure. And like, oh, that, know, that was a, yeah, like, that 10 was charges, a, right? porn. no, they yeah, both he, did. <laughs> Yeah, they yeah, both yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he, but like, he, he had, had he had, shit, like, he had one shit, but I don't think he had anything deal the like he was caught on where it was him and a kid. It was. He, he had like at least like, one thing physical. where it was like like it was like it was a small number, you know, it was like between like one and ten, but mm. like it was on the lower end of it. But it was like fucking like shit of like actual legitimate, you know, like child uh fornication tapes and shit. You know what oh, I mean? Okay. Like, things of that nature. Like, it wasn't just, you know, images of kids in a way that they they not supposed to be portrayed. Like, Fuck that you. motherfucker was actually doing that speaking shit. Of, speaking of charges involving kids, let's just go ahead and move on to Pickle Boy and this, this fucking weirdo. The well, first hold, red hold flag. On, hold on, hold on. Oh, all right, go ahead, go ahead. I want, you know, we'll get to him here in a little bit. But there was other things, you know, like, the, the crux of this was the pedophiles. But also, they discussed, like, somebody, you know, they brought this, all that shit back. And these mm. motherfuckers, like, they were doing some horrendous shit to these kids, boy. They all had right, a, right, a right, kid put on. a you're talking about the, on its tongue. You're talking about the, the little fear factor shit. Okay. Yeah. Right there. Okay. Bro, they put cool. the little black dude on the floor, covered him in peanut butter, and let dogs. Hey, like KTL, I remember that, that part. That part was weird, but I definitely slim, slim exactly. I remember that I remember when I was seeing a kid, that shit bro. On, on TV. Yeah, I and remember you know what's seeing crazy, that, and I remember seeing Fear Factor, and I remember and I remember seeing, seeing Pickle like, Boy too with all them pickles. But you know what? <laughs> when <laughs> watching it as a kid, bro, it don't seem weird, right? Yeah, I, I don't think the about none of this sugar thing. I remember that one specifically. I remember, I remember that, that too, bro. Shit. That coffee and sugar shit. I that that shit was hilarious hey, back in the day. They showed like the the screenshot, of the video, or whatever. Like, that kid, he's like, yeah, it was horrible. This shit became this fucked up. Like he was like spitting out slime and shit, dog. This disgusting. Hey man, I'm gonna say this, KTL. Uh, that Harry Potter looking at nigga, man, he went through <laughs> shit, but that nigga corny as hell. And I don't know why you day. said that. I didn't get it. Like, what did he do? Uh, he, he looks like fuck. he looks like fucking Harry Potter. Like nah, no, not anymore. Nah, he some, grew up and he just kind of like he looks like a grown up Harry like Potter. Baby dick. It was some stupid ass jokes he was trying. The to child who lives with that. I I didn't think so, Slim. I didn't see because I was watching. You were like, "This guy's corny." I was like, "Damn, what did he do?" Like I don't. He said some stupid ass jokes, man. That shit was trash. I didn't think so. I don't <laughs> yeah, know. nigga, you must yep. ain't hear the jokes. Uh, I mean, <laughs> but uh, so like I think yeah, I bro, saw they, Frankie they Muniz. On there, KTL, a couple times. Yeah, I saw too. Frankie Muniz and shit. And then they, bro, they they had a kid put a scorpion on its tongue, bro. And you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. they, they was they was out there doing just like some horrible shit to these kids, dog. They like, definitely used to do that. They brought they, you know what I'm saying? Brian Peck Pickle Boy brings these kids to his fucking house, and this little Harry Potter looking ass dude gonna see, you know what I'm saying? A, a, a fucking painting and shit of a clown. And it's John Wayne Gacy painting and shit. And Buddy yeah. is a pen pal with this guy who is killing kids. For, for and people like, who don't know who John Wayne Gacy is, he is what Pennywise is is sculptured after. Yeah. The killer clown. Like, and he's in print, bro. He's you're he's talking about like he had notes like letters in his bedside table, bro. Like from this motherfucker boy, and I he's sharing them, bro. First of all, with the picture, right? He has this fucking portrait of this killer clown nigga with it signed by by the Gracie nigga, the fucking uh, kid killer clown, whatever the fuck, right? And he's showing this to all of these people, and then he goes and displays all the fucking notes and letters and shit. That he got from this same serial killer that it, at that time was currently in prison for killing kids in mass numbers. Fucking and that, no fucking parent didn't snatch their kids. No, I not at all. Like right that. Now. That's like I'm telling it's you, Slim. These parents are fucking. They're idiots, idiots bro. Like I'm not. I'm yeah, not but, gonna lie but, to you. Like, but with the in the case of the parent that we talked about earlier, like I don't, I don't condone her for having a lapse in judgment what i condone her for is um condoning uh, is a positive word slim condemn yeah. is the word you're looking for <laughs> I good job, good job, 
Good job, KTF. That's why you're the white man on the show, bro. <laughs> That's not the only reason I'm the white man. What does that show. mean? Niggas are stupid. Let, let, me, let me fix it, KTF. I don't condone her actions. Good job, okay, Bob. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, so the the issue that I have is not that um she had a lapse in judgment. The issue that I have with her is that she didn't do anything like once she found out. She decided to exactly. To, uh, yeah, just l- kick it under the rug and, until and, it and, came and out when, way later. When shit starts coming out, they're like, hey, do you know him? Well, yes, I know him. Bitch, what? What the fuck you mean? Oh, yes, yeah, I, I know, know him very well. Where was Bitch, this don't try to take this. When? Don't poke your chest out now. Stupid. Yeah, but this, but this is a real thing, and we know this. Like, th- this happens these days with, like, the, the you That's know, the people that come out stupid. against it. That's ass. I can see. The, we I can, can, we hold, can, hold on. This is the thing. On, this is the thing. This is the thing. Yes. I can understand if this happened to you personally and you certainly find the courage to speak up about it. This happened to your child. This happened to your fucking child. Yes, I'm, bro, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm, I'm getting... No, that's not true. I've never heard I, that. Yes, you do. I've it. definitely... It's, it's in other podcasts, man. <laughs> bro, this this happened to your fucking child. Don't stick your bitch ass chest out now. Because you, stri- you were shriveling up uh, based off a fucking email of a of, uh, dude beating his dick to the thought of your daughter. I, and I now think, you, oh, yes, I know him very well. Bitch, I bet you do. I have, like, I just have the same stance that I always do, and that's that, like, you pick a side, and that is the side that you are on. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't condemn you for deciding that you don't want your daughter to, you know, be in the public eye you know, for all this negative shit and you think it might follow her around for the rest of her life. But once you make that decision, that is the decision. That makes no sense. Don't change this shit now because then you just, you now you don't give a fuck. Oh, well, my daughter can just deal with this shit. Now no, that, that everybody else is no speaking sense, out, KTL. my daughter can uh, deal Yeah, no, nah, I, don't, I don't necessarily do it. Hold, so hold on, hold on. Let me, let me check what he's saying. So basically what you're saying is she didn't tell them, so she shouldn't have told when the police called? What what I'm saying, Roots, it, 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 it's that, but it's not that because, like, I understand that people can change their mind. I'm saying that if your reasoning is that because, oh, you know, like, I, I don't want my daughter to have to deal with this trauma and this and that, you know, for, for the rest of your life, that is a very valid reasoning. But that's not a reasoning that changes once you see other people go forward. You don't suddenly become okay with putting your child through the trauma that you previously thought was so horrible. I don't like, think you said it was thing. about the trauma, though. No, that, well, that, she, in so many words, she was like, oh, like, I didn't want, you know, her to, to have to go through this horrible thing and it would follow her for the rest of her life and this and that. Right? Well, like, let me I ask said, you a question, it's gonna plague her mind regardless. I, that's why I think that reason. That, yeah, and, and I, 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 I thought, the, yes. I thought she, I thought she meant professionally, but. But well, let me ask maybe, you a question. But like, you know, beyond that, like, obviously, it's a personal traumatic. Yeah, so, so the question is that, um, so if you say that and you have that stance. Okay. So she started and she didn't say nothing at first. Uh-huh. So you're saying when the people came to her and asked her directly, she shouldn't have, like, she should have lied about it? No, I'm opinion? not saying that. I'm saying that her response in my, like, you know, from the way I hear it and understand it is it shouldn't have been so oh, right. Yeah, like it shouldn't it. have been so so forward and like, oh yeah, I've got a bunch to tell you. What the fuck? I've got a bunch to tell you. And she does. Like yeah, I bet she does. She's had but, it for five we, years. We know ran out of things to say at this point. Yeah. We know she does. I don't she's know had it for surprised. five years, Slim. I know. And and now they came to her and she wanna say it now. Oh my God, that's ass. I don't see how. Listen, I don't see. Bitch, you should have been saying something. That's that's what the the main shit is. It's no way y'all talking crazy about this lady for telling people what happened with this guy, her daughter. It's that's no way nobody that saying that, that, that that's that's because, what it sounds like. Y'all saying no, it does. Right? He was going first it off. Does. I'm right. saying, right. bitch, you should have said something then when it happened. Let me let okay. me say okay. Don't, okay. Don't, okay. Don't, wait, wait, no, 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 no. Hold on. This, this okay. is what it's hold on, hold on. Hold this on, is what Luke. it's equivalent to. Hold on, real quick. This is what it's equivalent to. You got your ass whooped for for two years by the same bully in middle school. You see somebody else punch him in the face, and now you're like, oh, so okay, so I can punch him in the face now too. And I can feel big and bad about it. No, motherfucker, you was getting hold for two years. You didn't get no 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 balls about it until you seen somebody else step up. So you you're still saying, pussy, nigga. come on, bro. What you what you are actually saying right now is that because this lady 
didn't tell that her daughter had some sexually explicit shit happen because she didn't say it back before. Yeah. You're saying, oh, don't try to get all bold and say it now. What? what no, do you mean? why are you adding that? That's literally what you're saying. Bro. Why are you adding and say it now? No, definitely say it now. But don't have all this fucking confidence and boldness in your chest that you didn't have five why years ago. Th th what she's doing is telling people that this man did some shit to her daughter. Yeah, why do you after, even have after that? letting it go unresolved. Why does that years, even that, that shouldn't come? Problem. That shouldn't be a factor right now. It shouldn't it be is. a factor because she should have been said the shit. That's not the important point. He's part of the fucking problem. <laughs> I if don't anything, agree. If oh, anything, that's not the if point. anything, if anything, she should have been arrested for child neglect. Because why the fuck you God. ain't say nothing? <laughs> Come on, bro. It's no oh. way. It's no way y'all getting on this lady ass for for telling people that some shit happened with her daughter. Hey, look, man, motherfuckers, oh, man. motherfuckers who commit a crime, motherfuckers who commit a sense. crime and tell on the other other people end up getting a lighter <laughs> sentence, but they still get a sentence. She deserved a, a, a lighter sentence. That's that for telling people with. her daughter got for not <laughs> telling for five years and then that's telling. not the important part though. She, Slim, she, that motherfucker was going what's to important, prison. What, God. It's, it's what's important to me. What are we he doing? Going, he going to prison either way. But I yeah, think well, he that, deserves some what fucking company is that with this bitch ass going parent. to prison. Like you, you are just uh, at this point adding, you know, sticks to the fire, you know, so it burns. Can I ask y'all a question? Shit. So, oh, right. hypothetically speaking, a, a lady is getting abused by a man for five years and uh -huh. she doesn't say anything because she's scared. So, oh. you're telling me, or, correct me if I'm wrong, you're saying if she comes out in five years and they come ask her and she's so confident to be like, yes, he's abusive, he does this, you're saying she's wrong in this instance because she should have did it back can before. I, can I fix your analogy to, to fit what okay. I am saying? Yeah. So Wait, are both of y'all saying abused. the same thing? That's what I want so, to know. So are here's what I'm saying. saying. So say she is getting abused for five years and she doesn't say anything because she's afraid that something, you know, the, the same man that's being abusive might uh, end up hurting her daughter, right? right? And then later it comes on, you know, five years down the line, other people have been beat by the same man. Other women, right. they come forward. The the you know the investigation starts, and she pops out like, yeah. And this motherfucker woo wop the bam, whatnot. Right. That's where I have the problem because so now you're not worried that he might do something to your daughter. Now no, he he, he, no. Like, he, he racked like, up what? more charges and more victims because you didn't say shit. Yeah, like other people like suffered from this shit too the problem like, the problem we, the problem that that that's here like the issue here is okay so i agree with and i'm not that, victim blaming let me be clear but, but, i'm not but, victim blaming i'm yeah, saying but KTL, that there I'm was saying, a witness that did the wrong thing but i'm saying i agree with y'all on what should have happened however that didn't happen for various reasons one reason might be this person is afraid of whatever so if they come out later when there is more evidence and more, like you saying, they're not they're not wrong for coming out. First of all, I don't. However, give they any, come out. I don't give, they're not wrong. I don't give, listen, I don't give any credence to letting bad go on because of fear. Stop being pussy and say something or do something. The person is not wrong for coming out, no matter how they come out. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, she pussy. That's what I I'm saying. She, that, okay, uh, but that's not what we're talking about here. I just think that's that what I'm talking not, about. I'm talking I, about I the fact she pussy, and she let this shit go on for five more years because she pussy. No, that's I, what I said. I said I will condemn her for not doing anything. I don't condemn her for making the mistake. I condemn I condemn her for not doing anything when she found out about I the mistake. I just think that the next best option should be treated like the next best option and should not have all the energy of the first best option. That's all I'm saying. Like that's you, that doesn't matter though. That's like if you if you how up, how she delivers up, it, how she presents like it doesn't that, you didn't that up. doesn't like that literally does not don't matter act at like all. you didn't fuck up. Me. Hey TL, you know? that doesn't matter at all. Matter she could present me. it however she wants, she could be quiet as fuck. She can she can whisper it, she can scream it from the mouth. That doesn't matter. The important part is do what's you understand. Happening. Do you understand how let's say let's say there's a, a dog killer going around the neighborhood. He come around and kill my dog. I reported Good to choice. the police. Routines, the animal and kids guy. <laughs> I reported to the police. Then I find out, oh, uh, uh, one of my other neighbors. Oh my god, yeah, I, I found out he killed my dog uh, uh, two years ago. Bitch, you mean to tell me my dog would still be alive had you said something when your dog got killed? 
You don't even know that. That's how I'm pressing it. You don't even know that. What do you mean I don't know that? You don't know that. He would have went to jail for killing That's, dogs. You don't know had you, that. Had you said you're, something, you're adding, had you said something, you're adding no, things that we don't you know. Said something, had you said something when it happened to you, it's very much likely that at least from the same person, it wouldn't have happened to me. Yeah, and that's hypothetical. I'm not dealing with the hypothetical. I'm dealing with what happened. There is no I'm, hypotheticals about this situation. That is definitely hypothetical. He 100% slip. That's are you hypothetical. saying hypothetical. So are you saying that he stopped after he sent that picture to that little girl? No, but he, even if even if she did, so that don't mean nothing. That don't mean the nigga going to stay locked. That don't mean get, that don't mean anything. That's hypothetical. He could, but we don't know that. So I'm not going off what we don't know. I'm going off what we know. And what we know and what is what we know is she didn't he collected say anything. more victims after she Bro, didn't say nothing. Say something. She didn't say anything. Time went on. They came back to her and asked her, Do you know anything about him or what's going on? She said, Yes, I have these experiences. And that's it, bro. It doesn't matter how she said it. What the important part is she said it. She didn't say it back then, but she said it now. I don't we shouldn't be I don't think we should be focused on All right, how she's so. delivering it now with more bravado Where, versus back then when she didn't want to say anything. Bitch, that doesn't matter. Bitch, your fucking chest. That don't we've, matter. That we've, don't matter. Uh, That's we've not important here. This, you know, like we've gotten bogged down. We've we've set our stance on it. No, now, this is the podcast, bro. Now we talk it. about this fucking pickle disgusting, board. you know, cucumber monger and shit, man. That's crazy. This motherfucker, boy. I'm t- roots, I seen him. That motherfucker <laughs> put a he put a pickle through a hole in the door and Ray Romano ate it and moaned. Like I didn't even realize that was supposed to be a glory hole until y'all was talking about it. What did you think? Where did you think the pickle went? <laughs> a hole in the door, nigga. I wasn't thinking of it like that though. But uh, I didn't well, hold on, hold on. like that, but hold I don't on, know how you did on. like think. Hold on, but this is another <laughs> this is a, uh, another thing because nobody thought of this, and even if you saw this. Before this came, I don't out. remember let's say, no pickle let's say, boy. I, I, I do. do. I, def- I definitely. I remember them little segments. Every episode, like that. I remember them little segments they used to do where they had the narrator voice, they or whatever. It's like, hell every yeah, episode, boy likes to abuse. Pickle yeah, I remember, like, that I remember that specifically when he Bro, look up. But but look, this is what I'm saying. This is the this is the narr- narrative painting shit. I don't think anybody saw anything wrong with it back then, and I think even the people that saying saying shit about it now on. On the quiet on set uh, episode, the black lady said, "Oh, don't nobody see see that these are in the shape of of uh, penises, bitch. It's not in the shape of a penis when you eat a pickle." Yeah, I'm be honest. If anything is a reach in this entire like series, because y'all was talking about reaches last time, that's a reach. I feel like I don't that's, agree. That's like the only thing. I mean, yeah, the I pickle agree. is shaped I like think, a pickle. I think, it, I don't, I think I don't if understand. it was a one off character, but your character consistently like there's not even. Enough funny jokes. You just you disagree with something that I ain't even say, KTF. Pickles, <laughs> <laughs> I, like, you just disagree with some shit I, w- I ain't even say, bro. What in what way? I you said, said it was the, a reach. The, I said the reach was the pickles looking like penis. Yeah, and I was I was about to get like, to that. What I'm comment saying is like, and subscribe. You sound like the narrator, bro. Chill up. I guess, <laughs> but uh, like <laughs> when, uh, I was I was about to get to that. My point was that this motherfucker was in every episode. With a, a plate full of pickles, bro. This was clearly a, a, a fucking a running penis joke, man. It's, it was not like, no clear. I don't, th- yeah, I don't, that yeah, motherfucker, I don't like, I, I can't, I didn't see a single instance on there where a pickle wasn't used in a yeah, but they, manner. but they, but they used to. So the thing is, like, they really used to do weird ass shit. And when they, when they mentioned that, like in the podcast, like he had these this weird sense of humor. They used to do weird ass shit because I remember. On the Amanda show, they used to have the, the girl talking about she liked eggs and shit. And they used to do this egg bit. So here's yeah. what I'm saying. So like, so I don't, I don't like, know. <laughs> do you believe that back, like, I, I'm going to assume this is the early 2000s. Do you believe back in the early 2000s, people didn't associate hot dogs with penises either? Not every time they seen it. I yeah, just and, think and that, like, well, yeah. I think it's depending on the usage and the context, Roots. The, the thing is, the pickles are shaped like pickles, so I can't give her that. Now, when we were talking uh, about last week it's with not, the nose, it's not, it's not all I agree with the nose. that you think of dick when you see pickles. Bro. Well, here's what I'm saying. I think it's more understandable for a, a pickle to be a, a representative of a penis than an actual, like, than a potato to be one. And we saw a girl... <laughs> Hand job in a potato in the last episode. <laughs> like nah, that, nah, nah, hold on, hold on. 
You yeah, know what not, I'm saying? Not the, like, not the potato itself, but the shit she was doing. Like, why is she? Why yes. is she talking like? Yes. I'm just that, saying, bro. Problem. Like, I I think that like I I don't think that's a reach. No, I that think, I, that I the is. potato shit. The the like I said, the potato itself. Nothing wrong with that. You trying to juice the potato in an erotic manner is crazy. Why are you making all of these sounds and and and, and saying all of this shit while you? Uh, vigorously squeezing a potato, man. He hey, hey KT, look, this, her this, finger to the back of her. Throat. Hold on, KT, this What's is what I'm saying. Fun? So, I'm not saying that the pickle shit wasn't a sexual innuendo or nothing like that. What I'm saying is the pickles being shaped like penises is what I think is a reach because they yes, just look like pickles, reach. like they're literally pickles. I don't know, bro. I just think that, like. I think that, like, society might have changed, you know, like, nowadays. Because, you know, nowadays, motherfuckers send eggplants as, as, you know, like, as dicks. And, like, realistically speaking, if you've ever seen an eggplant, like, outside of an emoji, it is not phallic-shaped. It's bulbous, bro. That that shit is, you know what I'm saying? It is a, a large, round object. It's not shaped like a dick. But, like, I, I just think that all of these things, like, nowadays are far more prominent because, like, people you know, have cemented the joke, basically. Also, um, also, I don't I don't want motherfuckers to get in this, because I think motherfuckers already are in, in this mode of, oh, yeah, it happened to me, too, and oh, yeah, it happened to my kid, too. I don't think these parents realize that they're making themselves look like worse and worse parents for allowing their kid to be in this fucking situation. It's like the, it's like the shit where, uh, I don't remember. Oh, uh, I don't know if y'all remember the 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 Swamp versus Yana, uh battle where the nigga Yana said, "I don't have struggle bars because that's like disrespecting my moms and shit like that." Where where it's like I'm not gonna uh, put my moms out for making it making having me living in a bad situation. Whereas in this, you're talking about how this was wrong, this was wrong, this was wrong, and this was wrong, and this specific parent talking about how the the pickles were shaped like penises. You didn't leave the show until y'all was fired. I'm about to say, you let them, like, have dogs lick peanut butter off your child on national television. <laughs> there's only a certain and amount of sympathy. And you didn't say shit. Like, there's a certain amount of sympathy I have for you. I'm going to be <laughs> I, <w> <laughs> I'll say this, though. I, do, I believe this. I believe that, um, like KTL just said a minute ago, like, things change with the times. I do believe that back then, the, the, the 90s, maybe early 2000s were a different time than today because everything we're saying right now, like let's take, for instance, like the, the women in the writer's room and the, the lady that was on this episode, I think it's far less women today that would take any kind of treatment like that okay. than back then. Because, you know, the the I feel like, I don't know, society has just come so far. Women that, have, have toughened. Uh, toughened up a bit more. They're not as fragile and as, as society is damsel -y different now. Yeah, than they were then. So, so the the whole split pay shit that they pulled on the last. This is episode, not going for that shit. They're not <laughs> going for that now. So, and I kind of feel the same way about just the parents in this situation in general. I think back then, like they 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 let them get away with a whole lot more shit than you know they would be able to get away with now with certain parents and things you know what i'm saying Can i tell you what hasn't changed with the time slim what was never acceptable what? a grown man should not have been laying on the floor and having a child walk on his back facts i don't you know i don't think that, <laughs> and and, I, and so this is the point that i was making about the um, and you shouldn't have signed any yearbook thanks for walking on my back so much like i look, don't okay so look this is the point i was making about uh when i was talking about jason at first like the girl giovanni um, she she said it. She was like, she's, she's uh, everybody fired, loved yeah, and they trusted. Um, Pickle Boy. Uh, yeah, Josh, she was a Jason. kid. Yeah, What's you know name? what I'm saying. Not Peck. Jason. Brian. Brian. Uh, Brian. Yeah. Yes, Brian Peck. Yeah. Same yeah, so, last name as Josh. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I think the environment that they created is like these people didn't even blink. Like when this shit was happening, like they didn't. They didn't even like think twice that's this problematic just, in itself though because i don't think I that agree, there is a, yeah. an environment that you should be able to foster mm. where like strangers are able to utilize your children in these manners you know I just like, think that's they, what they, they said it. I, I, one person <clears throat> one person said it to where <clears throat> even the the person the lowest on the the totem pole 
to be to be able to express that they're uncomfortable to the person the highest on the total right that's what it should have been well, now man. i like for, for me in in this is i guess this is just a part of the change in the times but my kid the only time they have uh permission to cuss an adult the fuck out is instances like can you walk on my back my child better say Bitch, nigga, if you don't get the fuck away, you know what? Fuck it. Where the fuck security at? Get this fuck nigga away from me right now before I kick him in his fucking nuts. And when they and say the walk, only when, when, they, when they say walk on their back, what do they mean? Like her, you lay like, on your eat, stomach, like on some, some chiropractic back, massage shit. Back. Oh, okay. Like it, it's That's some shit. I I, and, and Slim, it's some shit that I've like seen in person like happen. But it's never been between an adult and a child, except for like I've seen that shit happen. Like my uncles had like like my uncle had his kid walk on his back. You feel me? Like I've mm-hmm. seen that shit, but not no fucking. Yeah, my my wife, stranger. my wife has had her her uh, our son walk on her back before. Yeah, like, like not no not random stranger. But like you know, yeah, I'm not going. I'm not. I'm not going. Ask no <laughs> random kid that. I don't give a fuck if we in the same workplace. And I'm not gonna I'll allow that to be, bad, be done around me. Bitch, that's nigga, what, hey, that's, go, go stretch over the arm of a fucking couch. Hey, Roots, but that's shit. why I say I think I think it was the environment they created. They they felt comfortable with all that shit. Fuck that. I, it's, it's, I, it's getting I, away I, with little. <laughs> it, it was it was exactly how they were putting it with with how Dan would do certain little shit and it would go bigger and bigger and bigger. It's yeah. the same shit. There, that was, that was let me murder. try this. Okay, let me try this. Okay, they cool with this. Let me try this. And it's just keep it's the it's the chicken game, bro. This motherfucker Jason was in there playing video games with a little nine year old girl, and he kissed that girl twice, bro. The second time he tried to French kiss this little girl, and that shit didn't work. And he found his boundary and then said, Hey, make sure you don't tell nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, like wink, wink. Also, I can probably get you like, on another TV show. Closer to the fucking cliff, trying to see where they finna fall. Like, so yeah, so that that's happens. why yeah. as soon as my child is old enough, or their hands are big enough to hold a fucking twenty-two, they're getting they're getting getting gunfire lessons, bro. And my daughter's going in fucking boxing classes. This is because the motherfuckers are weird out here, bro. And they they clearly been weird for a fucking while. These motherfuckers yeah. are supposed to get the fucking death penalty. And then, penalty, bro. you know, and then Pickle Boy, he caught a gang of fucking charges. Like, you know. Bro, sodomy, fucking penetration a with a foreign object. Somebody like, bro, like, what the? A uh, bondage activity? Yeah, what no, that was fuck? the one that got me is like, what does you know what I'm saying? How does a motherfucker come in possession of like whatever is specified as bondage material with a child? Because like it's one thing for a possession. motherfucker to like have an inappropriate picture of a kid, you know, in a predicament. For a bondage thing, they have to like be knowing that they're in this situation. So you found a kid and put them in this situation for this express purpose. That shit said, at one point, Roots, it said a motherfucker, like, hired a minor for pornography. So, like, they paid somebody, you know what I'm saying, to make this happen. Like, yeah, but but you don't have to necessarily know what's going on. So, in the, in the child's perspective, they didn't have to necessarily know what was going on for him to be able to do these things. All so they like, had to be was... No, hold on, Slim, because the, the, the word yeah. bondage right there, like, that is not just uh inappropriate imagery right that is an activity yeah but that, that can participated be participated that can be that can be just like some that's motherfuckers some get they get tied up slim like adults get tied but up that's what i'm saying like shit. that could that could be like some rope or some handcuffs or, so, so what i'm saying exactly is, <laughs> but, but what i'm saying is uh, what with a child saying, how the fuck do you or your your you allow your child to become in contact with Somebody with fucking bondage material. How does this that, motherfucker that coerce a child to do this specific shit? Well, I mean, and then that, not that, kill that, nobody, that's, bro. That's literally what I was saying, KJ. Like the child, like both of the, the child is made, unknown. Yeah, the bondage and the hiring. The child could be unknowing of what his intentions are for sure. 
I'm talking about like you're talking about before though. I'm talking about during and afterwards. What, what about during and after? After though, what about it? You. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What about it? That's my what entire point. Is that like, like you cannot know what you finna walk in this room and what's finna happen right. to you, but you right. know what's happening to you while you're in the room, and you know what happened to you when you leave the room. What right. are you saying? They should have. What? You, wait, I don't. What? What are you saying? So like, okay, so let me put this in as plain English as I can. About it. Or watch, watch. Here's what I'm saying, Slim. Is it? Yeah. I can't. You know, I. Uh, this is a, a tough way because I don't understand it, but. I can perceive how, you know, a motherfucker might have just gotten a, you know, maybe not their phone or whatever, their camera, you know what I'm saying, and snapped a picture of a kid unknowing, you know what I'm saying, like he, a motherfucker take a picture of a little girl dress and she never knows about it, you know what I'm saying, she's looking off somewhere else that doesn't, you know what I'm saying, that it's never known. What I don't understand, like I, what I don't get how it happens is how a motherfucker coerces a child to you know go somewhere and handcuff her <sighs> or be handcuffed it's a and game well, nobody same, yeah. finds yeah, out they, about they, it. they they hey, this type of shit this type of shit is in a game of, uh, uh, but yeah, look you're, you're talking about children kg what what fucking <clears throat> movie am i thinking of where they like find this kid oh running scared it's a it's a uh, paul walker movie paul called walker. running scared and the you kid finds it? himself, yeah. The kid, no, find, oh, he probably, yeah, has. I know. Uh, the kid finds himself like being lost, uh, throughout the movie, and some lady comes along in a trench coat with her husband, and uh, he ends up <clears throat> getting in this back of this van with like three or four other kids, and they take him to this uh apartment where it looks like it's to, to a child, it's colorful, there's costumes around. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, there's cameras here, but like, oh, this must be somewhere where a TV show is being filmed. Like, you're a child. You don't that you're not knowing too. of of this this shit that how it can be perverted. You know, I so just, that's no, that's how a kid can bones, get caught into this what shit. The deal was. She didn't know until she really got down in the situation. When she got lured but that's down, what I'm talking really about. Know. I'm talking about being in the situation <laughs> and afterwards. Like she didn't get a chance afterwards. Well, what well, to her. well. The, but, where uh, I won't allow an adult to use fear to to not do something about some shit because they're a fucking adult. A child can definitely be scared enough to not say something. And that's fair, but I think it's just more so like like in my mind, it's like I don't buy the that you don't like you don't know what just happened. Right. That that's that's all I'm saying. Nah, that nah, that's when you get into like psychology. That boy slim. I guess it, I guess he, he uh I was about he, to say. Like, fucked up. But Man, that that's the that's stop, the psychology yeah. of like suppre uh suppression is a real thing where something that was so uncomfortable happened to you that you don't even want to talk about it, yeah, you don't want to discuss it with anybody, shit, and you completely push it into the like, back I, of your mind know, as I, a child. I and like how that happens. I'm just more so like I say, like the shit that they found on this motherfucker, I just like I don't get, you know, how this how he got happened. away with it for so long. Like how how did you know how did this like end up happening? You know, but, but again, these motherfuckers like like mm. bro, pedophiles, they they in their mind that shit is their craft. And they perfect that shit the same Crap, way. Uh, it's fucking, it, it's absolutely hey, man, did, insane. But that's did how I they get look my at little it. spiel that I just went on. Did y'all hear it? No, your your shit went out. Not that's at all. <laughs> yeah, that's just ass. go ahead and run back through it. Uh, brother, Hell sometime. no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it like to sum it up, pretty much. I was just saying, like, um, like there are there are people that I know, like adults to this day, that have had like traumatic experiences when they were young, and they didn't tell their parents about it. They didn't tell their family. You know, whether it be they were afraid or if it just affected them so much, it's like they still like live with that shit today and they haven't told them. Yeah, I get it on the victim end. I just don't, you know, I don't get it on like the rest of the world's end. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't. I don't I mean, the same, the same way that in, in a bank there are blind spots, there's blind spots in this entire world. And that's the, that's the place <laughs> where we need to start. Because this this type of shit still happens, and there oh. it seems like there's more blind spots now than there was than there was back in all these. All I times. can speak on is my perspective, right? And all I'm saying is that this story would have been over 
the moment that a grown man wanted to continuously email my teenage daughter. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Like the moment a grown man said, hey, I'm, I'm here to play video games with your nine-year-old daughter in her room. No, like gun button the this, nose. This does this doesn't go any further. I will kick your fucking nose through the back of your skull. Get the fuck out my house. And I'm a, I'm gonna say that shit while I'm laughing my ass off because I can't believe you thought I was about to well, go yeah, for this dumb ass that, shit. Like I there's you can't do shit with me, boy. I've seen you, you Mormon fuck. <laughs> I beat the shit out you, like. I, Hey, look, so so you we better go to... pedal that bike Listen. and knock on somebody. Oh, you know what? Yeah, 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 go ahead. Come on in. Hold. Do me a favor. Sit down to the table real quick. I'll be right back. Goes and gets fuck revolver. Hey, let's play a game. Spin revolver. How many times do you think two I can guns. click this before your brains are on my fucking table? That shit's that. That's that two guns shit. What Slim? Yeah, that nigga was cold. Um, yeah, so so we talked about the new additions. Um, you know, Brian Peck and Jason Handy. So, um, let's backtrack a little bit because we still had some about Dan Schneider and his escapades in here. Yeah, uh, Dan tried to help Amanda <laughs> get out, you know, from get emancipated. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest, bro, like, unpopular opinion, I don't think that he was that wrong for that. Like, um, they they had the show too. Um, the what I like, what about I like you about shit. you, yep. I don't remember that show. She she oh, wanted to be she wanted to like ele- elevate from being a child actor with these child well, yeah. roles to being Yeah, she wanted to be an adult. She wanted yeah. to, you know, date some some grown boys or grown men Sex. as the case may her be. Parents wasn't fucking you know what I'm it. saying? She wanted to like manage help manage her own career. I don't personally see hold on, you know, hold on, something hold on. wrong. Hold with on. It. Real quick, real quick, KTL, because all right, so how do you feel about him uh uh, just let's just say Amanda's dad. Are you How do you feel? Yeah, uh, that nigga switched uh, up. Specifically. Uh, yeah, my fault. I meant to say KTL. But uh, KTL, how do you feel about Amanda's dad being comfortable with his 13 year old being in a hot tub, but not comfortable with his, or uh, in a hot tub with a grown man, but not comfortable with her dating somebody who was probably 19 and her being 16? I think he's a whore. I think that he is in, in the most legitimate like the most literal sense of the term he is a whore like you you are okay with these things as long as it is making you money but Ooh, your cash you cow is about to leave the room okay, you know what i'm saying and you're you're about to go you know now you have a problem with it and shit that's what i said i don't i don't personally think that dan was that wrong for that you know what i'm saying it might not have completely been his business but at all. Like, if you know what I'm saying, if she like wants to do this shit and she, you know, it, it I'm assuming there's no weird shit, but there probably is. Um, you know what I'm saying? And she views me as a positive male role model figure. If I become a second father to her and she, you know, feels I don't think that there's something wrong with that. Like me but trying KTL. to help you get to where so, you want to be. Yes, you're so, not growing, so, you might not know what you want, but I, I think that there's a possibility that like it's a better predicament than what you're in now. Now, from the from the parents' perspective, these niggas was cool with Dan on the set. Remember? Yeah. So, yeah, so, so they, they looking at it like, oh, this nigga trying to hoe us. Like this, he's supposed uh-huh. to be our, our man's. Yeah, and, yeah. And hey, you, to... what, what you mean you're not gonna keep paying me? <laughs> so that's I think that's how the pops looking. That's why they didn't want to fuck with Dan no more after uh they found out he was trying to help Amanda with that. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna be honest, man. Like you know, we're gonna make a lot of jokes, but like this is my serious ISO moment in this entire, you know, series, you're going to see a lot of horrible things happen to a lot of people. A lot of them, you know, are, are victims and things that shouldn't have happened to them. We saw today, Amanda Bynes declined doing the, uh, like an interview for this shit. You know, that the, her reasons are her own and that's fine. But Amanda Bynes, why the fuck probably, are you up there like that? He asked for uh, ISO. Let him get his ISO, say, nigga. Oh man, come Amanda on. Amanda Bynes <laughs> is probably <laughs> the biggest victim of the system within this series. Like she was thrust into a a type of deal. Oh, you a fuck nigga. I, yeah, I you know. are a fuck nigga. Uh, What's wrong with you, bro? Yeah, Let him. this nigga get his ISO, bro. When you call for ISO, yeah. you get ISO, nigga. She became, you, famous at a, <laughs> she became famous at a young age, like more so than probably just about any kid uh, like, you know, like her and was forced to grow up in this industry around all these fucking weirdos, these sex pests, these perverts, etc. She got to the point and wasn't allowed to like grow up as a normal person because her parents were fucking, 
you know, money hungry whores. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, Dan uh, was probably the closest thing to another parental figure. And he was clearly fucked in the head. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So like, I feel sympathy for her because a lot of like, she had a lot of, you know, like mental breakdowns and drugs and whatever the fuck else happened to her. But mm-hmm. she is a product of her experiences in her environment. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't, I, I, I just want to make that point clear that like, I don't really blame her for anything that happened here. I don't think she did some wrong shit. Right. I don't think you can blame her as a child. Like she, like she, I she just wasn't know that the, any the public, they were on her ass. Oh, she's on drugs. Oh, this bitch is crazy. Oh, I was on her ass back like in the day, for sure. That, well, that's what happens. Wilding. That's what happens. When you, whenever you see somebody do some shit that you feel like is wrong, you don't think of why. You don't automatically think of why they might be doing this. You just think of, oh, this is wrong. You know what I'm saying? You never necessarily consider what trauma or hurt what people hurts people, other man. people. And I call a spade a spade. That's why I was on her ass back then in the day. I call a spade a spade. Like, I, it wasn't about what, what made her do the things she was doing. The things that she was doing, I didn't agree with. So I, I mean, I don't her think she was doing it. much other than just having dumbass interviews, Slim. Shit. Like, I, I, shit, Amanda was wild. And like, it was dog, mostly on Twitter. She dyed she her hair and Twitter got like, face tattoos and stuff. Like nah, that, that, she, she, I think she got checked into a mental institution for a reason. Um, yeah, but no, let, let's be fair, Slim. We, you and I personally know someone who was checked into a mental institution. Not for and the I don't same feel reason. like you have the same energy. Not for the same reason. Like, I don't know if you were there, but I was there. I was watching this Amanda shit happen in real time when she was going through her meltdown and, and shit. But, you know, in, in, the, in the instance of, you know, how, how many more things do y'all want to address about this episode? Let me ask that first. Is there anything else? Some of these Amanda tweets. I was about to say hey, that, that that Virgil nigga, the um director guy. Yeah. Like he uh um, he got hold. Yeah, he, uh, thought, he thought he was damn friend too. He thought he had a friend. Say, Dan ran him <laughs> off the set without saying a word to him. Everybody thought that Dan was their friend. <laughs> he is not y'all friend. was friends with some Dan <laughs> Schneider boy. <laughs> That motherfucker, and he was out there like all the kids was like, yeah, he would always be trying to like help protect us from Dan. He was tell- telling me he's like, bro, Dan would come on the set, you know, screaming and shit. I'm having to tell him like, bro, these is kids, and you freaking people to fuck out. Like, and that nigga tried to have an argument match with Dan. He thought he was gonna get away with it that le- that last time. <laughs> that that motherfucker got you out the door, buddy. Hell yeah, he said he said Dan can come tell me if he wants me out of here. They're like, no, like I really think you should leave. I think you get should just go here. ahead and bounce, brother. Yeah, just get up out of here, man. That so it had to be you, Virgil. I, like, I, I know he was like around doing oh, all that and all that God, shit for what a while. To Virgil. That's a fact. That's all but, fire. Uh, that my, like, I, you know, my my point that I was going to bring up is in the vein of hurt people, hurt people. The episode ends with some crazy shit. Wait, boy. don't don't say it yet, KTL, because okay. the lead up to it was so funny to me, bro. They're talking <laughs> about Pickle Boy Slim. They're talking about like, because you know, uh, uh, Virgil. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? It was Virgil, Virgil, he's, bro, there. Was he's, he's like, he's like, wait. So there was, he's like, there's two pedophiles on the set. He's like, wait. There it wasn't was nobody on our set. On our set. Right? Nah, it like, wasn't yeah, nobody on the set, right? On one of our shows. Yeah, that nigga said on one of that our nigga shows. was like, what? Hey, what do you he mean? Had, bro, he had you no can idea, see bro. His face turn red, boy. <laughs> he had no idea, bro. That shit was. He so just wild. sat back, slim. That nigga said, wait. It wasn't nobody dealing with nobody on one of our shows, huh? Wait, on, on one of our on shows? On the set? Like, <laughs> that nigga yeah. virtual, bro. That nigga was sitting there like, bro, I swear to God. <laughs> and so, obviously, I knew what was about to happen because... That boy thought I, Dan been... was the worst shit on the set. He thought that... He thought yeah, nobody knew about... Dan. Yeah, nobody knew about these niggas, man. They they, they was wilding. Bro, but, I, KTL, I, mean, yeah, two, two, I knew what was finna happen because I've been hearing about on it. on the same set is kind of insane, Slim. I'm not gonna lie. That's an insane statistic. Like, it might have been more, bro. We don't know. But like, I mean, you gotta yeah, realize but this two that got, that got caught publicly. You this know? environment is, is set up for motherfuckers to fail, bro. This environment was a terrible place. What then. does that mean? The, I'm talking about, like, this environment was set up. It, it was not a conducive... Like, it was not conducive to... The children's growth or anything. Oh, okay. it was, it was just some kids. I thought you were yeah, talking I'm... about the adults. I was like, what? No, 
The, I mean, and, and that's what I'm saying. Like, the, the environment, I'm including the adults that are on the set. Like, I don't think these motherfuckers are here by, by accident. Like, these these are like Dan Snyder minions, like, here. They're little Dan Snyder. Hey, I don't know if he fucked no Fabian, kids. you know what I'm saying? I don't know There's if he no did Fabian. nothing with no kids like that, but I, I can believe that he did. I'm not going to lie. Who? I, Dan? Dan. Yeah, I think well, he might we'll, be one we'll, of we'll them, too. in his interview what he got to say for himself. But, yeah, so... The, what you was about to talk about at the end of the episode, I knew, and I'm sure y'all might have knew. Any I had two. seen part of episode three already. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I didn't see any of episode three, but everybody's been fucking talking about it, so I knew who was about to come up. What about hey, you, Rich? You knew? I, uh, no, I I didn't know exactly who they were gonna fucking bring up. Okay, but I I knew I knew I was waiting for somebody of of high notoriety to to be presented as a witness or a victim that's the only thing to me that makes this more valid oh he's a victim for sure and i figured that he was a victim i so i am actually one of those people that when i see celebrities or 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 people or you know uh get into certain predicaments i start to think of like why this may have led up to this point. And I wasn't all that aware of this Dan Snyder shit, but once this came out and once I started being aware of it, I was like, okay, who? All right, Amanda, she was wilding. Drake had a whole fucking case. Motherfucker. And then you start thinking about the Disney shit, in which I can't wait until that shit comes out. Orlando Brown. Orlando Brown, Hillary Duff, motherfucking uh, Simone, Demi Lovato, Demi Simone, Demi, Demi, some, Demi Lovato. Demi she was on fucking Riley. crack. Yeah, Demi, Demi was on some shit. Hey, real quick, can I read some of these tweets that Amanda Bynes came out with? Are they uh, <laughs> are they new? Age or appropriate? For these are old. <laughs> hey, if they like 2014, 2015 era, like I was around back then, she was tripping. Well, this is one from uh, 2021. It says, I okay. want at Drake to murder my vagina. <laughs> uh, she, she just horny. That's all. That's yeah, all that, that bitch man. just love Drake. Like, she horny. That's it. <laughs> hold on. Let me see how far back this one goes. Yo, well, hold on. Wait. Before right? you do that, Roos, do y'all uh, remember back in the day, like, Drake and Josh being on the set with him? Like, that shit was so fire back then. What do you mean? Drake and Josh being on the Amanda show and shit with her, and like the, just the show and everything around it was just so. Fire. Well, yeah, the motherfucker was Tony Pajamas, and you know what I'm saying. Yeah, like I remember that shit. Like <laughs> that nigga Drake used to do this little skit where he was uh this uh this nigga like one time totally Kyle. I had a frisbee. Yeah, that nigga like <laughs> talk, that shit was so fire, bro. That boy, hey, that boy Josh would on. be up there by the window. He say Tony. It's the Al Dente brothers. They got <laughs> <Yeah>. eggs. <laughs> and they See that egg eggs shit I'm talking about? Bitch. I'm talking about this egg shit, bro. I mentioned it earlier. And then that motherfucker say, he say, Tony, they got jelly donuts. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hold on. So I'm going I'm to read a couple of these tweets. This one's from October of 2014. The police filed a, rep- a report against my dad. I am not able to be in the same room with him. He is a sexual predator and he should be in jail. Damn. Another one says, my dad is as ugly as RuPaul. So (laughs) so thankful I look nothing like you both. I had no surgery after my mug shots. So my nose and I are gorgeous. (laughs) That's Mm -hmm. from 2013. Bro, I'm telling you that they was cool with Dan for a reason, bro. I don't know where this is, where, uh, what time this was from, but this says he's rocking that incest face. Jesus. Yeah, Amanda used to say. What did like, you all search kind of for like this? That. Uh, Amanda Bond tweets. You just Google? oh, it's all nigga. It's all over Reddit and everything, bro. Oh, it's okay. all over Reddit. It's images on Google. All, this shit is everywhere, bro. I got it's tweets of me like back then talking crazy about Amanda, boy. And now look at you. Well, I mean, I felt. The, I mean, I feel the same way. You're sorry, like Slim. Then. No, because I, like I just said, like. I said what I said Amanda, back then. you're listening. About, Showtime Slim is very sorry. Yeah, yeah. I said what I said back then about what she was doing at the time. I didn't agree with. It had nothing to do with why she was doing it, but what she was doing, I didn't agree with. Now, the the entire story, I'm with you. Like, she did nothing wrong in any of this situation. But what I tweeted back then was about what she was doing at the time, and I stand on what I said back then. 
She was tripping. Uh, another one of these say, uh, where'd it go? I was diagnosed bipolar, sorry, di bipolar and manic depressive. So I'm on medication and I'm seeing my psychologist and psychiatrist weekly. So I'm fine. And then the very next one they have up here. Hold on. So that one was from November 2014. And then this one is from December 2014. And it simply says, I'm Britney Spears. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think fair. that's the most accurate you can be of yourself. That's the shit I used to be talking about, man. That's fair. But I, I will say, like, had all this information come out before all of that, maybe more people wouldn't have just thought she was, like, crazy and out of her mind and shit. Because that's what everybody thought back then. A decade ago, everybody thought she was just losing her mind and shit like that. But there was no information like this about all these different things happening to her and her family doing this shit to her. Like, it was none of that. So once you read the tweets, they kind of make sense. Like they add up to yep. the backstory. But back then was, when she was, was doing it, there was no backstory. And and that's that's the crazy thing. Like that's that is something that I appreciate about shit like this, shit like this show, is it starts to make it starts to make other it starts shit to add up. Sense. You know, it starts to add up why all of these tweets were coming out with her. Why Drake has his his you know issue with his case and, and and shit like that, and why Dan Snyder's name just kept popping up little by little over and over again over the past decade and a half, and you know it makes all of this other shit that's crazy shit make sense. But then, but my also my problem is like then what? Like nah, what I've been waiting after for this, this shit, man. I've been waiting for this Dan Snyder shit, bro. Not gonna lie. Like I said, it's been a long time coming. I don't know. You said then what? I don't know what's gonna happen or if any. Put a motherfucker in jail. <laughs> Put him on trial. See if he's guilty or they not. Gotta have... if he's so, guilty. Put look, him in look, jail. Look, we didn't get to the rest of it yet, but they gotta have something to, to more put more incriminating. And yet there. again, hold on. Now that I, the, the, Dan pops up again a couple times in this motherfucker of oh, you know, Dan claims that there was no no gender, you know, specified. Yeah. He's not even uh, like addressing the shit about him putting kids in bad situations. Hold on. It's, hold on. This is, but this, but this, hold on. But this is this is where journalism is, is fucked up. Because there is plenty of times where in magazines motherfuckers partial statements are pieced together to come across as the story that the journalist or the, the well, magazine what or whatever entity wants them denied. to say. I'm but, talking but, about what he denied. Roots like he, he saw some shit and he was like oh you know, Dan. Yeah, Roots is saying that they. that they, was Roos Roos saying that they could be like, like skewing that KTL. Like it might not be accurate. He might. I, he may have. He may have by situation by situation disproved all of this shit. Or or no, or I try, think or try more to, likely is he didn't know about all the shit that was finished. Hey guys, that's why we're gonna watch the Dan Schneider response. And that's exactly what I was these. Say. You know what I'm saying? But let me ask a question, KTL. You saw episode three, well, some of it. Yeah. Do you know this information or not? Is Brian oh. Peck related to Josh Peck? I looked it up. I don't think so. I think it's just a coincidence, but people were definitely asking. Yeah, that. because they also showed that picture with Pickle Boy, and Josh was at the bottom of that picture too, man. So I was like, are they related? Okay, yeah. They, so let me let me go ahead and say, yeah, so like the, the shit ends uh, with Drake Bell. You know, he pops up on screen and shit, and we find out Pickle Boy fucked Drake, man. He did a lot of horrible things, and we're going to find out more about it next episode. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I mean, um, I think Josh did a response, too, so we can watch his shit, too, whenever we finish this. Fuck, Josh. Yeah, well, Josh, Josh Peck actually <laughs> said that he's not related to Brian Peck. Okay. Yeah, KTL, you said, you said fuck Josh, and somebody told me the other day, they, they was like, why is everybody... um? Smoking Josh Peck. Is there something about Josh coming up? You ain't gotta say if it's something. Josh it is, but... Peck. It, it's just more so like him, you know, in in the case of like all this shit. Ever since like Drake and Josh ended, he's had such a an attempt to separate himself from this person, which is a very Thanks. valid, you know, like an understandable Thanks. thing. Like you, you've been connected with like you know people for so long. It is what it is, but. That motherfucker, like, you know, in, in these types of situations and when bad things are happening, like, it, it is to the point where, like, he's apathetic and, you know, even to to an extent, you know, negative about these certain situations. And I'm like, mm -hmm. okay, bro, like, you're, you know what I'm saying? He, he's trying to 
to do things now. Like he'll acknowledge his connection with Drake Bell when it benefits him and his social status. It's not, you know, like anything positive where he actually fucks with dude. They you might know, not probably don't each other. fuck with him. Yeah. No, they and might that, not that's fine. Him. But like, it's one thing to like, I'm going to be, let's be honest here, Roots. Drake Bell is a significant part of why Josh Peck is as lit as he is. No matter. You same with Keenan and Kel. Yeah, yeah. You cannot fuck with it. Yeah, it's the same thing as Keenan and Kel. But, like, I've seen, like, Josh do corny shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's he's telling motherfuckers that he pulled up and, like, pressed Drake to go apologize to his wife. You know what I'm saying? And, Maybe like, motherfuckers did. are like, you probably did. Maybe no, did. I, I thought that, too, for the longest time. But then I saw people, like, they were like, no, I was there. Like, that's a bullshit-ass lie. And I'm like. Are these people as famous as, as uh, Josh or Drake is? Because uh, it's very much possible that they were lying for, for clout. Well, I'm going to be honest, bro. Like, all of that shit at the end of the day boils down to he said, she said what you believe. But, you know, it, it, I just, I, you know, from the evidence that I've garnered, I'm like, I don't think so, man. Like, I just think it's that type of shit. I'm like, bro, just leave that shit alone. If you don't want to be connected to it, leave it alone. Like, that's well, what Kenan did. That, you, nope. That's the thing. That's, 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 that's what Kenan did. Saturday Night Live and all type of shit, bro. That nigga, fuck, that nigga yeah, that nigga said, fuck, he ain't said, but that nigga stuck. He did not get no fuck about Kel like that. Well, they, no. they was actually they was actually beefing. And that's what that's what happens a lot of the times. Like, Drake and Josh if you too, see man. a pair of people come up around the same time in, in, in show business, something happens that that causes a rift in their relationships. Hey, whether Roots, it be and money, and I think, whether it be people, you know, whatever it is, something causes that rift. But Roots, I, and I think that's because as like I've heard from about Josh and I mean not Josh, um, I've heard from about Keenan and Kill's situation and their relationship. And I'm gonna assume it's probably the same with Drake and Josh, but they were just forcing Keenan and Kill together on every fucking thing. Like they just kept pairing them together because they were like a duo. And and that's what Keenan was like. He didn't want it to be a duo. He wanted to make his own name and do his own shit. I don't know Which if they were fine. doing the same thing with Drake and Josh because they both were on the Amanda show. They both was on Drake and Josh the show. I, don't I know just they... think that, like, in that situation, mm-hmm. I don't think you get mad at the person who is also simultaneously a victim of the same thing as you. But, again, you, know you I mean? don't know or understand the inner workings of what is happening behind the scenes. Yeah, there might be you know more, is, but I'm just speaking specifically on what Slim said. Like, if that's what you're upset about, that's not this person's fault, you know? No, I'm just saying, like, if if you want, if you want to separate, if you want to separate yourself, or the fact that it's a rift, that it could be because of that, like some shit like that. Yeah, but Lockhart did it with you. He said he's him and you. Uh, uh, Yeah, you remember that? He said I'm me and you're you. Because everybody was saying y'all was two brothers. Had to do the same shit. Pause. That don't even make sense. How? (laughs) That makes zero sense. Yeah, I do it. I was anything else before we get to the. Close this up. Somebody yeah. said that this Jason guy might be worse than Voorhees. What do y'all think? Uh, yeah, Jason clearly. Voorhees was a uh, fucking. All he did was kill kids. Machete wielding. Oh. Menace. Yeah, he like, just he, killed he kids. He was he, didn't... he was killing teenagers he, like he, brutally. He, hey, look, he didn't molest them. He just killed them. His yeah, I'm not. Crazy. I'm not doing this with you, bro. Yeah, I'm about to say, I feel like I I don't know if, like, you know, in the eyes of the law, you know, I don't know if that's significantly less impactful. In the the eyes of me, it is, because this is the thing. Come on, bro. Slim, Slim, like, come on, bro. You You ain't even have to, you ain't have to rape him. Just kill him, bro. Let me tell you why. You ain't have to rape him. Like, I agree with that. I feel like this undoes every positive thing that we said on this show so far. Undoes. (laughs) What, Slim? (laughs) Yeah, so, so, (laughs) in in the case of, like, Molestation versus oh god, look at him. He got he, look at look at this. Look at look at him. All right, so in the case of molestation go, James. versus killing kids, bro. All Jason Voorhees does is kill children. So he's not doing sometimes these kids might be doing some shit where you know they deserve to be killed. They're they're killable. I don't think a child is ever doing anything to where they deserve to be molested. So in that case, I gotta put molestation as being worse than killing because you can't tell me that some of these kids probably don't have a reason that jason should kill him 
I'm, hey, I'm KTL, trying. that's exactly why he got an ISO. That I'm, right I'm there. I'm trying so hard not to laugh, but that's a short like a motherfucker right there. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. Not, it is. I'm not. I'm not wrong. <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, wrong. yeah. What, what, uh, what is it? It's got to kill a kid. Like, I understand. What is it? Uh, not, the views of case Hey, hey, hey listen. Re reflect I'm, the views I'm, I'm, nah, I'm, let me I'm finish. Let me finish. Questions. No, let me right, ask y'all a question. I'm not answering your question. No, 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 no. no. Answer the question, bro. Nope. So, so, are you telling me that in no situation, there's no situation that you can say, yeah, Jason, deserve, he, he deserved to kill that guy? Never? I was there for Freddy versus Jason. That's not so. what I'm asking. I'm not asking you, that. You, 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 what I'm telling you is you weren't there. I This same discussion you're having right now, motherfuckers had this same discussion and told me, yeah, Jason a bitch. He just out here killing kids and this and that. No, 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 no. Let's not divert. They said though. he didn't have, they said they didn't We're, even understand this, why this he This entire conversation is a diversion, Hold bro. On, what no, are you no, talking no. about? No, I'm, I'm asking you and Roots right now. It's the three of us here. Are you, t are like, just tell me what side you on. Are you saying that there's no instance ever that you could say, yeah, Jason might have deserved to kill that that person? Don't say that person because you your okay, entire Jason. conversation was your your monologue was about kids. Yeah, I don't think that changes it. Like, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. All right, bro. You telling me if a motherfucker got a gun on Jason's face, then he shouldn't be able to kill the motherfucker roots. I <sighs> drunk TL do I'm not asking support you. the killing of any children. Yeah, I, whatever. Like either. in certain situations. And he said, Yeah, whatever. What the yeah, fuck? We, we kill <laughs> women. Y'all not kill being logical on this side. Like y'all not being logical. What did you just say? But y'all not being logical. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying. Yeah, like, he like, might have like, said some wild shit. I, I don't think they heard I'm, it though. He no, might have said they, some they, wild I'll shit. Say it again. We've said on the podcast. Why are you comparing? It's a okay to kill him and don't kill kids. To a fictional character that No, he just said it's okay to kill child women. Predatorial though. shit. He just said They're it's okay both to kill women. Bad it's entities, definitely, bro. It's definitely Man, bad you killing are, kids. You're you're wrong as fuck, Roots. They're because both look, bad. So so no, so no so no 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 okay no. To kill? no no so so you answer me a question. At what point in time is it okay for anybody to kill a kid? If a motherfucker is threatening Jason, then he has Jason Voorhees, by the way. Let's let's put that in perspective because there's more than one Jason in the world. <laughs> if, a a shit, Slim. if a motherfucker is threatening Jason Voorhees, he has a right to to kill that 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 kid. That's I can threatening. only imagine. Hold on, no, I ain't done. I ain't done. I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Just have somebody pull no. up and leave. Yeah, I saw well, that, but I'm not done. I'm not yeah. done. You I'm can't done. tell me. You that keep Jason stopping me. Can't kill you keep stopping me. I'm, I'm getting. Let me get my point. I'm not done. Right, if a motherfucking, if a if a kid, a teenager, whatever, is threatening Jason, I cannot okay. say that Jason does not have the right to kill that kid. However, on the flip side, there is no situation where Jason Handy should ever molest a child. It is two different things. There is a reason why Jason can kill a kid. There is no situation why Jason the other Jason should molest. That's how the writer wrote it. But that's not what I'm saying. So, Slim, you, you, that's not you what think I'm saying like, to you. You think that, like, you know, a Interview kid, like, movie. having a gun, like, you know what I'm saying? What if he had a gun on the other Jason? He's not going to try to kill him. He's going to try to do something nasty. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done, bro. I'm done, bro. I'm done, bro. I'm done, bro. I'm done. Bro. I'm done, bro. I'm done. <laughs> Jason Handy up, is a fucking weirdo. Yes, we know that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, he's worse than Jason Handy's, bro. He's I'm worse. Cool that, bro. He's worse. Oh, oh my God. It's not even Jesus close. Jesus Christ. He's gonna so try to do something really nasty yeah, that's with not a gun in his face. It's right crazy. That's not somebody close. play the outro beat, please. Bro, it's time what? to go. It's not close, bro. Anybody else got anything to say, bro? War he is one of is probably gonna be Jesus even worse Christ. because then we get to hear how Pickle Boy fucked Drake. Like man, all right, man. God. You wow. Um, I'm lying. <laughs> it's probably gonna be worse. That has been Another rendition of Real Rap Coalition. Oh my God. Oh, this nigga with this milk shit, bro. Quiet <laughs> on set, episode two. Come Take back milk off the screen. This is a bad one. Man. When we find out what the fuck happened to Drake, uh, uh, Drake Bell. Virgil. Get off my lawn.
that's how he was looking at you while you were saying that Jason Voorhees shit. That's that's how Jason was entering the room. Yeah, that's that's like this? Like that.